Welcome back to Mountain Connections, everybody. Right now, we are talking about some unfortunate news. Pink Park City has been pushed back once again to March 2021. And here to talk about the reasoning behind the pushback and how, don't worry, everything that was going to take place in 2020 will still take place in 2021. We have Kristen, and I hope I say this correctly, Van Leeuwen, the event coordinator at Huntsman Cancer Institute. Kristen, thanks, you, thank you so much for joining us on Mountain Connections. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm excited to be on this morning. So again, this is kind of bittersweet news where Pink Park City uh, is kind of being canceled for 2020, but pushed back to 2021. Can you talk about why it was pushed back once again this time until 2021? Yeah, so um, like what was alluded to, we had originally planned to push Pink Park City to August. Um, we had no idea what we were expecting with COVID and what was going to happen. Um, but as we've seen, um, COVID numbers increase and decrease all across the board, um, and with certain local restrictions, we thought that our energies would be best spent pushing everything to March, 2021, um, so that we could have an event that was unforgettable and also have an event where, you know, our patients could attend. We have participants that travel from all over the States to come. Um, and we still wanted them engaged and participating in the event. So we knew pushing it to 2021 20, would be the best way to still include everyone and have a, a ski day to remember. Yeah, so this is a, a ski day to, can, uh, to conquer all cancers. Can people still give donations right now? And how can people get involved? Can they register to go on this ski day? Yeah, so um, if you go to pinkparkcity.com, everything is still open. The site is still live. Um, everything is just being pushed to 2021. So you could even go on today and register, create a team, anything you wanted, and that would just be all sent to 2021. Um, people can still donate to Pink Park City or to a team that's already been formed um, with the 2020 season. Um, so everything is still live and open and we encourage everyone to still go on and participate. And, and you guys are, are doing something that uh, is very cool where all participant standings will remain in place and you're pushing, you know, back to 2021. So that way there's no like, oh, hey, it's a new year. It's a fresh start. This is all just pretty much a continuation. Again, just because it's been canceled doesn't mean, you know, you can't carry on. So everything that's in standings right now will continue to 2021. Yes, yep, you're correct. Um, we actually have, we, before everything kind of, went away and kind of went crazy with COVID, we have actually have raised more than half of what our original goal was. Um, so all of that, that everyone has helped fundraise or donate, everything stays the same so people can still build upon their funds and continue to raise that money for cancer research. And we're taking a look at the website right now. And again, well, what kind of made the decision to make this a ski day to, can to conquer all cancers? Because I know pink is kind of synonymous with breast cancer, but this you guys are trying to tackle all cancers. What was kind of the decision behind that? Yeah, so we um, actually, our co-founder actually first went to Pink Vale, um, which was founded in 2012, I believe, which first started as a breast cancer fundraiser. Um, but we, and Vail has since moved to all cancers as well, but we've really felt that there was a need for this event here in Utah. And um, we thought Pink Park City had a good ring to it, but we really like the idea that since Huntsman Cancer covers and does research and treats all cancers, that that is what we fundraise for and what we participate for is for all cancers. So does the donations and, and, and all money that uh, has been raised for the event, is it, can someone be like, oh, I specifically want to give my donation to this cancer research or, or to help fight this cancer, or is it kind of just divvied up, or is it just all the donations are given to Huntsman Cancer to help fight everything? Yeah, so people can actually donate wherever they want for a particular cancer. Um, people can donate to areas, area of greatest need, or we have some teams that are specifically breast or specifically lymphoma or uh, specifically thyroid. So team captains can designate those funds. Um, if you're on a team or if you're just an individual, you can designate where your funds end up so that you are supporting the, the cancer that may mean the most to you or that you've been affected greatly by. 
Uh, that 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 is something that I, I, I deeply appreciate again because I know they, you know it, there's sometimes where there's cancer um, fundraisers that specifies one cancer. I think that you know all cancers are equally as dangerous and important to fight. So the fact that you guys are fighting all cancers at one time is something that I agree, greatly, greatly appreciate. People want more information. Maybe they want to donate. Maybe they want to get a team signed up. Uh, maybe they just want to see what Pink Park City is all about. Where can they go to for more information? Um, so pinkparkcity.com is your best resource, but you can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram um, at Pink Park City, and there's a lot of information there as well, or at least an avenue to get you to more information for the event itself. Kristen, thank you so much for joining us this morning on Mount Connections on Park City Tel Television. We appreciate it. Again, bittersweet news that the event had to be postponed all of 2020 and pushed back to March 2021. But we want to say thank you for at least put, getting the event put back on for March 2021. So, Kristen, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys, we're going to take another commercial break, but we'll be back with more glorious interviews right here on Mount Connections.